This is an easy to do wall sculpture. The sculpture is four foot by two foot. Although it does appear to be larger when it is hung at an angle as shown here. This is a simple leaf pattern that I've been using for years and I've cut it out of some sheet metal to make a permanent pattern. Bribing around the pattern. In this case, I'm using some bronze, some sheet bronze. I'll scribe this out and then begin cutting it out with some aviation snips. I'm using sheet bronze here because I found a piece that was just about the right size for this spray at the metal recycler. But you can use whatever material you have on hand, whether it is copper, brass, stainless, or even sheet metal that can be painted. This is the size of my leaf. Although your leaf can be any size that you want or a completely different kind of leaf. For this type of leaf, I like to round off the ends for a more finished look. I fold the leaf to give it depth and dimension. One way to fold the leaf is to use a vise and a board so that you get a shape like this. If you have a sheet metal break, you can use that to break or bend the leaf. The sheet metal break will give a sharper bend or fold. Here are the finished leaves. And these have been folded and the edges rounded off. And for these, I use the sheet metal break. For the leaf stems, I'm using 1 16th inch RG45 and I'm putting a daub of bronze on the end of each rod. And these rods are four and a half inches long. Attaching the stem to the leaf and if you'll notice the torch is at a right angle. In other words it's not directly down onto the leaf. This gives a better idea of the torch angle. The flame is directed to the daub of bronze on the stem, melting that bronze and letting it just flow right onto the leaf. Brazing the stem onto a stainless steel leaf. With the stainless steel, you may need a little bit of extra flux. In this case, I didn't need any, but sometimes a little extra flux will help. For finishing these leaves, I'm using the wire brush on a motor. But when it comes to finishing, there are a lot of options. For example, you could use the Scotch-Brite discs to give the swirl effect, or small sanding discs. These leaves could also be buffed up to a high shine. I'm using the wire brush on the motor because it is the quickest and easiest way to finish these leaves. And most people have some type of motorized wire brush. My goal in this video is to show how to make a good looking wall sculpture using very few techniques so that in the end it is an easy piece to do with excellent results. On the other hand, if a person wants to, they can add all kinds of techniques. For example, flame coloring the leaves if you are using copper leaves or flame coloring the stainless to bring out the blue colors. For attaching the leaves, I'll need some branches. These are 9 inch pieces of 332nd RG45. RG45 is a mild steel gas welding rod. This is steel with a thin copper sheath. Here I'm using a pair of needle nose to form a very shallow curve. A 
little bit too much. Just need to smooth that end out. And I'll need eight of these. The next step is to position the leaves. And this is just a matter of taste. What I'm looking for is spacing. I want all eight of the branches to have the same spacing. In other words, the same layout. I'm just using my thumbs or the needle nose pliers to form the stems. For this leaf spray, I'm using three bronze leaves to two stainless leaves. I've also done this type of spray using all copper or all brass or all stainless. One of the things that I like about this particular design or this layout is that there are so many possibilities. And also, it's an inexpensive piece to put together. Now, I got the bronze and the stainless at the metal recycler, so it was really cheap. But, even if you paid full price for the material, it would still be an economical piece to do. Just using the bronze that is at the end of the stem, remelting it, and brazing it right onto the branch, the 332nd inch branch. Placing the block of steel right on the branch so it doesn't move around on me. And now I'll put a dab of bronze right on the end of the branch so that it's all ready to braise right onto the frame for the leaf spray. For balance, I want four of these sections to go to the right and four to go to the left. This one is going to the right, and I want the other one to go to the left. What I want is a mirror image, so I'll turn it upside down, and that will be my guide for making the branch that goes to the left. Now that I know how I want to position the leaves, I can go ahead and braise these together. I don't quite like the spacing right here, so I'll put this block of steel right on the branch so it doesn't move, and then I can pull the stainless steel up just a bit. So this shows one of the branches going to the right and the other going to the left. Here are the eight finished branches ready to be attached to the frame for the leaf spray.